Let's see how we go. Go, you record him. Hi. I'm <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> Hi everybody! Oh, I'll, tell you, I'll do it a bit. So. I'll, 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 I'll say that. Okay, we're here today using the Ultima 3.0. Um, it's uh, fully electric with an integrated battery. Um, it's a very, very nice piece of kit to be honest. It's very light, very manageable, very easy. What boat are we on Dave? We're on the Escape 4.0, uh, just trialling it out just to see how we go. And how much the boat weigh? Boat weighs 32 kilos. And how much do you reckon the engine weighs? I would say uh, about 15 kilos with the battery, but it does the battery does detach. Okay, so we've got just over 45 kilos. I'm probably about on a good day, 100 kilos, and you're probably I don't know 75, 80 kilos, something like that. So we've got a fair bit of weight on board. Um, let's see how it goes, shall we? quite handy magnetic one. Uh, we can also extend the tiller arm which is also a good feature. Um, it's very very light which you can adjust with this knob here, just tighten it up and it does tighten up the throw of the motor which is quite nice. Very simple to operate, it's a basic system of just literally turning it on, that's me turning it off, so that's it off and then to turn it on just press the button and it gives you a battery indication of where you are. So we've got 100%, uh, 80%, 60%, 40%, and then on the red into 20%. We've also got a button up here, which puts it into almost a slow mode. So we can press this button when the light's on. It won't let us go too fast or we'll use all the power, which is very handy, obviously, if you're trying to conserve power for a longer journey. We'll leave that off today for uh, demonstration purposes. Um, it is literally a case of twist and go, which is a really, really nice feature of it. No more pulling engines, no more having to uh, pull the choke out, get it running, make sure the fuel's are right, make sure you pump the fuel, all of that's kind of to the end. If you, if you were to hit, have any negative points about it, Dave, what, what negative points would you say? Uh, my negative points at this stage would be, obviously the kill cord's a little bit close, uh, but that's an easy fix. I mean, adjust it somehow, which I'm not going to do today. Um, one of my downsides with electric motors is always that the tiller is in the middle, which makes it quite an uncomfortable position. It could almost do with being more like an outboard where the tiller is away from you. Um, it's more of a comfort thing, but obviously I suppose the pros outweigh the cons, which like all these things. But like I say, it is a case of just literally twist, and that's it, we're powered. As you can see, it's lovely and quiet, so we can still talk. And here we go. So to go forwards, again, it's exactly the same. You just twist it the other way. So, again, lovely and quiet. It does spin up quite quickly, which is quite nice. It's not very laggy. We're now doing top speed, if I'm honest, I'd say we're probably doing about 6 to 8 knots at the most, which is an ideal speed for the harbour at the moment. I don't really want to go much faster than that. If you're battling against the tide, I could see that coming down slightly. Certainly if you're using it like a Bristol channel, you'll probably find that you're not going to get much more than 5 or 6 knots there against that. Tight. One of the other nice features, again, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the tiller arm does extend, which is a nice little feature. And then some taller people if you want to get the weight further up from. But other than that, it's a very, very nice little piece of kit for the weight, the price, the convenience, no more servicing, no petrol costs. I would say very very beneficial 
certainly around for harbours, for tenders. The nice thing is we're near a campsite here. I don't know if you can see it. So we can bomb up and down this little stretch all night. How long do you think the battery lasts for? I would say if you're going flat out like we are at the moment, bearing in mind we have been using it all afternoon, as you can see the battery indicator has come down off 100% now, I would say you'd probably flat out get about one hour out of it, which is about the same as a tank of fuel on an outboard, so if an onboard tank, if you were using it flat out, you get about an hour on it, but you're very, very rarely going to be running at full speed. Uh, half throttle or using the eco mode on it I would say you get about three hours I haven't actually tested it because we haven't actually used it for that long yet uh, but obviously in the future if we do we will be sure to update it very very light to move there's no weight there at all you've got no weight with an engine it's not heavy to push after a while with an outboard do get a bit tiring on the arms you can also tilt the arm as you can with an outboard but it feels like it's got a notch so you can lock it into position to find your optimum comfort position me shorter arms very quite close my only negative, like I say, you're going to get a move all wet electric outboard, so it's the fact that you do have a kind of funny seating position. I don't know if it's more because I'm used to sitting on the side or having more of a position out here, but you know, you can live with it. Fuel switch is a nice feature, it does work instantly. There you go, and it does sound an alarm to let you know that it is unplugged. To let so, you know you've fallen in the water. Yeah, but not so you're sitting there wondering why it's cut out and then realise that it's hanging by your foot. So, again, just put it back on, it's done by magnet. Straight away the battery flows back up, put it into zero, and you're off again. I don't know if you can hear that, but it spins up very, very quickly. All in all, if I was going to rate it, if I'm honest with its negatives, but that goes with all of them, I'd probably give this one just because it's an integrated battery. The fact that the battery disconnects makes it very, very nice. The fact that you can carry it in two pieces. The cost of the batteries are quite expensive. Um, I would say the battery price on its own, if you were going to get a separate battery, they are about £500, so it does make it quite costly, but it is its key feature. I would say, all in all, I'd probably, I'd, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10, if I'm honest, 8.5 to 9 out of 10. But there's no quirks in it that you don't find with any other electric motor. And I think it's uh, positive, certainly outweighs negatives. So, be sure to check it out. www.escapemarine.com Thanks for listening.